Austria winter May to September 2005, Malabar drill potential heights over Africa exhibit positive correlation with heights over South America and the Central South Pacific near New Zealand, and negative correlation with height over the Southern Ocean. A wave number three pattern is apparent. With three troughs and three ridges showing the correlation of 500 millibar geopotential height anomalies in the subtropics, with 500 millibar anomalies at 50 degrees south to 95 degrees east during winter. This wave number three patterns is one commonly associated with blocking patterns in the southern atmospheric during summer. Over、uh, November to March, anomalies over the three con- continents occur. Occur occurs. Um, a continents occur out of phase with anomalies over the subtropical oceans, and in a wave number three pattern over the South Ocean near fifty five degrees south. So let's talk about Madame Julian oscillation, is、um, which is discovered by Madame and Julian in 1971 through an analysis of zonal wind anomalies in the equatorial Pacific. It is a large-scale coupling between atmospheric circulation and deep convection in the tropics. It makes up the largest fraction of the intra-seasonal 30 to 90 day. Variability in the tropical atmosphere. It is a travel. It is a travel traveling pattern, with the convection center propagating eastwards at forty to eight meters per second over the warm parts of the Indian and Pacific oceans. An area of anom- anomalous. Rainfall first appears over the western Indian Ocean, and remains. It evident as、um, propagates over the very warm ocean waters of the western and central tropic Pacific. The anomaly in convection weakens as it moves over the cooler waters of the eastern Pacific Ocean, but the anomalies in atmospheric circulation continue around the globe. The wet phase is followed by a dry phase where thunderstorm activity is suppressed. Each cycle lasts thirty to sixty days. It cost, its cost remains uncertain. A recent idea is that evaporation leads to low-level moisture convergence, which builds up cumulus convection that gradually amplifies. Into deep convection, it appears that there is mer- meridional moisture convergence to the east of the center of convection. Teleconnections between MJO and North America, um, um, and the North American cl-、uh, climatic anomalies in boreal winter have been shown by Joe et al. When enhanced convection is located over the equatorial Indian Ocean, below average air temperature te- temperatures tend to occur in New England and the Great Lake region. Great Lakes region, as enhanced tropical convection shifts over the maritime continent, Indonesia above above average temperatures appear in the eastern states from Maine to Florida. The MJO also influences winter precipitation when enhanced convection is located over the maritime continent. More precipitation falls in the central plains. Enhanced precipitation also occurs over the west coast when the convection center is over the Indian Ocean. So this figure shows that the time increases from top to bottom. Uh, top to bottom, so contours that are oriented from upper left to lower right represent movement of the anomalies from west to east. It should be emphasized that there are strong interactions between many of the atmospheric teleconnections, and these may operate to strengthen or weaken their effects on regional and. Atmospheric climatic anomalies.
So the Madden Julian um intro seasonal tropical wave or fluctuation that moves eastward with a tropical cycle lasting thirty to sixty days. So sometimes you can say two to three months. So or. One month to two months, so mainly impacts the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific. Can reappear over South America and Africa. The MGO is responsible for the majority of the weather variability, cloudiness, rainfall, evaporation, and sea surface temperatures in the tropics. Interannual variability, stronger Madden Julian oscillation activity is observed in. In weak La Nina years, the MJO is frequently weak in absent during a strong El Nino. So we're going to summarize all we learned: Southern Oscillation, Teleconnection Pattern, North Atlantic, and the South Pacific Oscillation, Pacific Decadal、uh, Oscillation, North Pacific Ocean, Ocean, and Atlantic. Multi-decadal oscillation, Arctic, Arctic oscillation, and Antarctic oscillation, Southern, su- Southern, Southern annual mode, Madden Julian oscillation. Okay, so there are many large-scale standing pressure oscillations in the atmosphere. The best known is the Southern Oscillation Teleconnection Pattern in sea level pressure between the anticyclone in the eastern equatorial Pacific and the low pressure over Indonesia. This atmospheric oscillation is closely coupled with the oceanic El Nino-La Nina phenomena, which involves anomalous. SSTs in the eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean, respectively, warm and cold. Each phase typically begins in March and may last one to two years. These two modes each give rise to pronounced clim- climatic anomalies in many parts of the world and represent the principal source of interannual climatic variability with. El Nino, the Pacific North America teleconnection pattern is usually in its positive mode, with a strong pressure ridge over Western North America and a low pressure in the southern,、uh, southeastern United States. This gives corresponding positive and negative temperature anomalies. The North Atlantic and the And the North Pacific oscillations involved the subtropical high pressure cells and the subpolar lows in each ocean. High index values of either oscillation represent strong zonal westerlies. The Pacific decadal oscillation (PDO) features is a warm eastern and cool western. North Pacific Ocean in its positive phase and vice versa in its negative phase. Each phase lasts twenty to thirty years. The Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation (AMO) is the is the、um, Atlantic counterpart of the PDO with an amplitude of about point four degrees Celsius and a period. Of about seventy years, major droughts in the Midwest and Southwest United States were more severe during the AMO warm phase in the nineteen thirties and nineteen fifties. The Arctic Oscillation or North Annual Mode and the corresponding Antarctic Oscillation (AAO) or Southern Annual Mode each involve positive. Pressure anomalies over the polar caps and mid middle latitudes. These patterns extend through the troposphere. Positive modes give rise to strong zonal circulations, strengthened of the seams in summer, autumn over the last five decades. Appears to be linked to intensification of the Arctic zone hole in the troposphere in the southern. In the southern hemisphere, there is a wave number three pattern. In Austral winter, five hundred degree, ah,、uh, five hundred millibar, 
geopotential height anomalies between the Africa South America and the Central South Pacific are positively correlated and negatively correlated with heights over the Southern Ocean. There is also a semi-annual pressure and a temperature oscillation in the in the Southern Hemisphere. The Madden Julian oscillation is a traveling pattern of Circulation anomalies and convection in the tropics. It accounts for most of the variability in the tropics on a 30 to 90 day time scale. Convection propagates eastward at 4 to 8 meters per second over warm waters of the Indian and Pacific oceans. A wet phase is followed at 30 to 60 day intervals by a dry phase. Various phases of the MJO are shown to be linked to Temperature and rainfall anomalies in the United States. Lastly, is the quasi -bin、biennial、um, biennial oscillation (QBO) is an oscillation of the equatorial zonal wind between easterlies and westerlies in the tropical strata.、Uh, st Stratosphere with a mean period of twenty-eight to twenty-nine months, alternating wind re、uh, regimes developed at the top of the lower stratosphere and propagate downwards at about one kilometers per month until they are dissipated at the tropical trop、um, tropical troposphere. The QBO has an impact on the South Asia monsoon.